Hey, in this Squarespace tutorial, I will show you how to use this website builder to create a simple yet stylish Squarespace e-commerce or personal portfolio website. But don't worry, most of this tutorial can be applied to any other web project you have in mind. So without further ado, let's start. All right, so the great thing about Squarespace is that you can start for free. It's not forever free though, it's just 14 days. But this means that everyone can follow this tutorial. Just use the link below to get started. Also, this tutorial is more or less Squarespace for beginners. So if you're already familiar with some parts, feel free to use the timestamps to skip ahead. You first need to select what your website is gonna be about. For this video, choose photography. And next in the Squarespace website tutorial, determine what your project is focused on. Here, choose to promote business, sell products, and sell services. Again, it's not as important, but it'll help Squarespace better tailor the setup to you. Okay, so now we reach this stage. Choose your own adventure of the video. I'll be showing you how to work with both Squarespace's new AI tool and the classic Squarespace award-winning templates. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Squarespace templates. They're modern, stylish, and minimalistic. You do feel more professionalism from them. Some providers just offer mismatched colors or outdated structures. Since there are more than 100 of these designs, you should find something that matches your website's needs. And no, there are no 90s style rigid designs here. <coughs> Set one, two, three. Who said that? Now, you can sort templates by type or intent or simply scroll and select anything that attracts your eye. You can preview designs before selecting them, checking how they look on mobile or changing the color palettes. If you wanna see how this works as a website, you can click on the button here to see the demo website. So look around at your own pace. I also recommend you go with some lighter, paler colors. They give a more professional feeling. Oh, and as with any website builder, this template will work as a base, meaning there's no way to switch templates apart from starting from scratch. Once you select a template, create a new account or quickly log in using Google and Apple accounts. Lastly for this, enter your website name and click agree three times, and you'll reach the Squarespace main dashboard. Congrats. Now let's turn the Squarespace tutorial for beginners back. If you prefer to build from scratch using what Squarespace calls AI or blueprint tool, then select this option during setup. Calling this AI is kind of a stretch though. It's really just picking out of a few options, like a quiz that determines your personality, but in this case, your website. My main issue and why I recommend the template route is that for each section, you only have six design options, which don't really allow you to express your website's vibe. But at the same time, if you want something super simple and quickly created, I can see this mode's appeal. Okay, for this tutorial, I'll add intro, product, services, social, and footer sections to the design. And I'll go with the very first appearance options for each section. Next, choose pages that your project might need, and if you're not gonna try to fully optimize your site for search engines, then leaving only a few pages will be cleaner and easier to manage. I'll go with about, shop, and contacts. However, do you see a minor issue? I also wanna show off my photos, so a portfolio page would be really useful here, but you can't add any custom pages during the setup, which is a bummer. Let's move on to colors, and here we go with any of the professional color palettes unless you're focusing on younger audiences. Lastly, for fonts, I suggest going with the professional or friendly category. I'll go with man rope. And after a few seconds, you should see the Squarespace dashboard. Anyway, no matter which approach you choose, let's see how to edit your website here. To do this, click this little edit button in the top corner. Unlike other website builders like Wix, Squarespace is so clean and minimalistic that you might not even realize that this is the full editing mode. There are drag and drop controls, so you can pick an element and simply reposition it anywhere you want. Well, not everywhere. It's optimized for ease of use. I mean, it's Squarespace for beginners after all. There's a grid that splits the design into simple blocks, allowing you to place objects on the lines, sort of like Legos. There's no need for annoying pixel by pixel design. So let's drag this text element to this position, and then you can see this small menu appear. With it, you can duplicate, pin, remove, or most importantly, edit the individual element. Let's edit this text. Once you click the button, you can work with basic word editing tools. I don't think I need to go into what they do, and you've probably used Google Docs before. The one important thing here is the AI text editor, and it can effortlessly shorten, lengthen, or simplify your text. It can also create descriptions or other text, though it feels very selective of what it understands, so don't try to confuse it. Anyway, let's add a section by hovering over the place where we wanna add it, like here. I give it to Squarespace. There's a nice selection of different sections, from portfolio to donations. 
and they have at least a few different designs. Squarespace for portfolios, right? So let's add a portfolio section with this design. You can rearrange the newly added elements and change the text to fit your project needs. Now, click on any of the images and then edit. Then select replace to change the image. You can upload them from your computer and phone or even better, browse free images without leaving the editor. That's a bit better alternative than using the sort of unpopular AI images. Once uploaded, go to the design tab. Here you can change the size of the image, change the corner radius or add effects. This is kind of interesting. These animations can interact with your cursor to give a more modern feel, and they can be further customized in intensity and how they act. But don't go overboard with them. They will increase your loading speed, and too many of them can look a bit unprofessional. Okay, what if you wanna add more elements to this section? Simply hover over this section, and on the left, you'll see the Add button. Then just select from the list or use a search to quickly jump to what you need. Now, in terms of elements, Squarespace has quite a selection and it's one of only a few builders that offer more complex blocks like SoundCloud Player, Table Reservations, or Amazon Product Block. So you can create a lot of different projects here. Most of the elements and their settings are kind of self-explanatory, like maps with simple customizations or shapes to spice up your design. However, note that the video block is only for local videos and there is a limit to how many minutes you can upload. Yes, minutes, not the video size. If you wanna add YouTube or other videos, use the embedded element. Now that you know how to use Squarespace, let's edit and modify the home design starting from the top. I'll change the hero or intro section image and change the text. Then add a portfolio that matches the style you're going for. Then I'll change the images and use the AI tool to generate a description for my portfolio. The next section is products. And here I'll use AI once again to come up with product descriptions that fit what I'm selling. This should do the job. Then change the other information and the product image. However, keep in mind that you're not creating products. These are only design changes. I'll cover e-commerce later on. Next up, I'll do the same thing to the service section. Use AI to generate or shorten descriptions and modify other elements with simple Squarespace controls. Next, I'll modify the footer's information to match mine. Let's jump back to the top and click to edit the header. Now, currently it features the name of my website and menu, and we're gonna keep it clean. Don't overburden the user with unnecessary stuff. I can upload a custom logo by clicking on the title and simply uploading the file. If you have it, also upload the mobile version of your logo, or there are free online services that make a mobile version of your logo for free. Oh, if you don't have a logo at all, Squarespace has your back and offers a free logo maker. It's pretty neat. I've left the link below. Go check it out later. One more thing I'll change is the header design. Click edit, then select layout and put the menu in the middle. Then select the cart icon, click edit, Select the style, go with the icon, and choose one that best fits your style. I'm going with a light modern design, so something lightweight like this would be perfect. Are we done with your homepage? Nearly, but you only edited a desktop version. But so many of us browsing websites on our phones, your site needs to look good on mobile. Click this phone icon and you can edit your design to fit the screen. And don't worry, most of the changes you make will be locked to this version and the desktop one will stay the same as you left it. Since we made most of our style choices with the setup, I didn't touch them. But if you wanna change something or mess with more advanced design stuff like spacing, you can click this paintbrush icon on the right. Here you can change buttons or form styles. But to be fair for my design, the settings I selected at the start already make it look professional and modern. If you want something more interesting, go to miscellaneous, then animations. Choose one to see how your design reacts. That said, while animations can look fancy, applying them to all elements can make the site feel cheap. So I suggest sticking to the image animations mentioned before. Anyway, we're done with the style tab. Following this Squarespace tutorial for beginners, your homepage should be done. So click exit on the left to get back to the main dashboard. If you want to manage pages, go to websites and pages. Here you can delete, rearrange, or hide them. What I like is that Squarespace allows you to set up essential pages like a 404 error page or a checkout page. You can build marketing elements like pop-ups easily, though it does require a premium plan for that. So if you use my link below to register, grab a plan anytime and you'll get everything from the get-go. Moving on, I don't really need any other pages for my website. If you're going for a specific store, for example, change the colors here. The 404 page and lock screen can be left alone. The default versions are enough. So now I set up my system pages and have only a few left. Again, 
Don't overdo it for the first build. You can add more anytime. I'll click here on the cog and go to this page's settings. What I want to do here is go to SEO and set up basic info. I also want to add a social image on the next tab. Everything else can be left as it is. Once you're happy with your design, it's time to discuss e-commerce. While Squarespace isn't the most extensive e-commerce platform, it offers everything small to medium-sized businesses need. But remember the products we modified? Well, now if you go to selling and products, you can see the actual products. So I'm going to change these to match the info I've added on the homepage. What's great is that if you only want to change basic info for the product, you don't need to go into full editing mode and you can do it in the same panel. But I'll click the three dots and go with edit. Then change this product's title, description and image. You can manage your prices and inventory down below. What might be more important to you is the variant button which allows you to add variants based on color size or just add a custom parameter. Though their maximum limit is six, it seems like you can add a lot of variation types. So even larger stores should manage to fit their inventory. There are SEO options and easily enabled feature products. So you can mess with them as you need. What you need if you're gonna sell physical products is to set up your shipping or as Squarespace calls it, fulfillment. You can find it here on the product page. Click Setup Shipping and you can customize all settings. An area I appreciate about Squarespace is that it allows you to create a local pickup or delivery system and sell multiple digital products as well as subscriptions. There are lots of customizations when it comes to shipping, and I won't go too much into it. You should know your business details. However, I do recommend trying out the Easy Ship plugin which has a free plan and can help you with the overall setup. Since I touched on the extra app, let's talk about the Squarespace app market. While a lot of the tools Squarespace offers are built in-house, there is a nice choice of third-party add-ons. From shipping to marketing, most of these have free plans to start from. However, remember that you'll have to create different accounts with every tool you want to use, and that will get frustrating and hard to manage. So a good password manager is recommended. What I will say when picking an app is that each of them can add to your website loading speed, so don't overstuff it with maybe necessary things. Now. I think you get it that in this age, marketing is vital and Squarespace makes it easy, even for beginners. Most of the tools come with explanations and very handy templates. Squarespace's email marketing campaigns are an easy way to connect with your audience. I recommend running them at least once in a few months. The process is simple. Choose a template, fill in your content, set up your mailing parameters, and you're done. No extra charges. You can also manage your subscriber list easily. Apart from emails, you can create promotional pop-ups to grab your visitors' attention. Just toggle the pop-up on, customize a message, and you're set. Again, some features require a premium subscription, so don't forget the discount link below. I'm also intrigued by Squarespace's Unfold tool. It's a mobile app that lets you create engaging social media posts or stories quickly, with a wide range of templates and tools available. The best thing is that it's completely free, but there is a pro version if you find the tool useful and need a bit more. Next up in my Squarespace website tutorial for beginners, let's touch on analytics. This is crucial for understanding your website's performance. From the dashboard, you can access detailed analytics on traffic, engagement, and sales. The traffic tab shows visits and unique visitors over time, while the engagement tab highlights how users interact with your site, including the most visited pages and average time spent. For businesses, the sales tab tracks total sales, conversion rates, and average order value. However, the thing about analytics, you need to have visitors to see something. So I suggest visiting this part of Squarespace once your website is established. Then you can use the data to tailor your visitor's experience. So, all right, most of this tutorial can be done with the free trial, but you're probably not here just to test things out. So don't forget to use the discount links if you haven't already. Squarespace is a great no-code website builder. Well, unless you wanna code, since it allows you to add CSS or JavaScript. Yeah, it might lack a thing or two for a more complex web project, but if you're here to build some simple business or portfolio site, Squarespace is the best option. And that's it for today's Squarespace tutorial. It's definitely not everything, but it should be enough to launch a modern, simple website. Now, go and develop your projects further. Thanks for watching this video to the end. For more insights on Squarespace or other website builders, be sure to subscribe. 
If you have other best website builder tutorials you'd like to see, or want more info on how to build the website in general, leave your questions down below. For everyone else, I'll see you in the next video.